Yo, it's your boy KG. So today, finally, I'm gonna try to rebuild the 55 gallon custom pit. Only got a couple things I gotta do. Just do the wood and um, I'm gonna show y'all what I got going on. I might paint it, I might not, I don't know. Cause if I do paint it, I gotta sand it down, paint it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. So let me show you what I got going on. Get back at you. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Cut it, boy, smoke up. Cut it, boy, smoke up. Cut it, boy, smoke up. Cut it, boy, smoke. Cut it, boy, smoke up. Yeah, I'm with that. Cut it, boy, smoke. Alright y'all, y'all might have seen the previous video about what was wrong with it, the pit. So first of all, the tires. Remember the tires was flat. Um, when I showed the first video. So the tires weren't actually flat because they dry rotted. I said they dry rotted, but they haven't. I pumped these up maybe three or four days ago. So basically, the only thing that was wrong with the tires is they were just needed air. So the tires working. So no, I don't have to buy no new tires. So I went and got, let me see. I went and got some new wood pieces. Cause if you remember right here, this piece broke and uh, this piece wood piece broke and they still underneath the uh, gallon drum right now. I gotta cut the bolts off or the nails off to get those off. So I went and got these pieces right here. And these pieces are a little smaller than the original. Original piece of wood, so that's the original. And that's the piece I bought. They're a little smaller. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna, see how that fits right there. I'm gonna screw in four of these instead of two. It used to be two, so I'm gonna go one, then two, three, then four. So I'm gonna have four supporting the barrel drum instead of two support, just they a little smaller. And I'm just gonna spread those out evenly. And I'm gonna put this, remember this came off? This, this is underneath here. I'm gonna put that back on there. And um, screw that back on there. the tires on see a big work uh, oh yeah we got motion we got motion all right let me get these wood pieces on right quick
one at five inches. I think I'm gonna put one at 15 inches. One at 25 inches. And one at 35 inches. And this is treated wood, by the way. You can tell by the color. It's kind of like a green tint to it. So, Flat side down. So instead, I'm just gonna go to the original lo locations. So I don't feel like getting no more screws. And I feel like the weight. Oh. I'm not gonna just keep out of nowhere. <sighs> Come, boy, smokers, y'all. Big dog alert. Whew. Let's get back to the custom grill. <sighs> Plan B. So, screw's not long enough. So I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use the original screws. And do it like that. Cause I don't feel like getting any screws for this anyway. And then like that. And it should be well, it should be to hold it, because the drum ain't that big, the screws are still, still screws. Oh, shit, good. I think this should be good enough to hold it. I was gonna do four, but I'm not doing all this extra work. And it's still gonna be good anyway, you know what I'm saying? I just wanna grill and chill. That was corny, but you know what I mean. Super Bowl coming up, I need to really be ready for the big epic cook. Two new posts and replace the broken ones. The wheels are back on. Alright, let me 
show you what's going on. So apparently, when the builder put the bottom two posts on, it's hard to see, but right here is a nail. So they nailed it from the inside into the piece of wood. Why? I don't know. He could have used a screw. Would have been better just in case, you know, anything went wrong, you could easily repair it. Try to use my Dremel. And uh, see if I can cut the, the, the nail head off. So I just use a rubber hammer. Look what we got, y'all. Two seconds. Sometimes you just gotta think sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Cutting boy smokers, baby. We got both of them off now. So, that's good. So let me clean that up and uh, the drum will be ready. But I gotta finish. Finish the frame. So I, like I said, I got these two points down. You see, I forgot about these two points over here. Pieces of wood over here. And one piece of wood is for this underside right here. And the other piece of wood is for to keep, for uh, to keep this straight right here. Cause I wonder why I kept feeling so wobbly and then I realized over here, I got those two pieces of wood over there. All right, y'all, I'm back from the store. Let me get this out of the way. So, you know I gotta do it. Comfort grip. Got some more paint. That's gonna be close enough. That's for the frame. Sprucing up the, uh, the custom 55 gallon pit. I got some screws. Hopefully this is enough. But we're gonna make it enough. So I'm gonna get these two ends on. After that, um, the pit should be fine. I'm gonna wash it off, get the hose, wash it down, let it dry, come back and sand it a little bit. Uh, get it ready for paint. As far as this right here, I'm gonna uh, scrape most of that stuff out. And also I'm gonna um, wash it down, get all that uh, sand and dirt and stuff like that off. And I'm gonna actually paint it again. The outside, let that dry for probably a day or so. And after that, I'm gonna fire it up and um, re-season it. So yeah, let's get this started. <laughs> 